Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with a flip through. So I got this really beautiful Lenormand deck. You know, I like my Lenormand and I use, you know, the same ones pretty frequently. And then the Cherry and Lilac Lenormand, I don't use quite as much. I feel like those images are a little bit dark, but I feel this one, the Art Nouveau, goes really well with um, the the um, Ethereal Visions Tarot plus the Astrology Oracle. So it's all in the Art Nouveau theme. So I might do an Art Nouveau reading for you guys. So let's take a look at this deck. So, you know, it's got this nice hardcover. It is a Low Scar Bayo publication. And it's a book with 36 cards and it's in multiple languages and yep. nice little tab thingy there's your book and so every every Lenormand deck has a different purpose to me some of the astounding pixies I've been using because well, it goes great with the Rider Waite, um, Smith Waite deck because it's Pamela Coleman Smith. And I love that one too because it's great for timing. But this one, what I'm really digging is that um, it gives you a little explanation. It tells you a little bit about, you know, the man. The man is just, you know, the masculine. And so it goes into each each individual card, the writer, but um, it talks about sample pairs, which is really nice because that helps in divination and sampling the sample pairs of, and that's how you read the Lenormand. You know, it's two, it's usually more than two, of course, together that makes the definition of what you're looking for, the divination of what you're looking for. But yeah, so I enjoy having these combo meanings, that's going to be very helpful. That plus the uh, Astounding Pixies timing will be very helpful in a lot of these readings that I'll have in the future. So I'm always looking for something that will work, you know, that will help out. So then the rest of the book pretty much is all the different languages and that's it. And so nice, I like this, these kind of textured books. They're easy and they're not too stiff. And so here we have the cards. It's a very nice, attractive backing. Very Art Nouveau floral. And let's take a look. So here we have the writer. This is number two, the clover. Let's see if I can recognize all of them. If I can't, I'll just have to pause. Three, the ship. Four, the house. Five, the tree. Six, the clouds. Pretty sure that's the clouds. Seven, the snake. Eight, the coffin. Nine, the bouquet. Ten, the scythe. Eleven, the whip or the broom. <laughs> Most of the time it's the whip though. I really like to the female images in these. Very nice. Twelve, the birds. Thirteen, the child. Fourteen, the fox. Fifteen, the bear. Sixteen, the stars. Seventeen, the stork. Eighteen, the dog. Nineteen, the tower. Twenty, the garden, the park. I use both words. Twenty-one, the mountain. Twenty-two, the crossroads. Twenty-three, the mice. 20 for the heart. Oh, that's a nice heart. <laughs> 25 the ring. 
26 the book, uh, 27 the letter, 28 the man, 29 the woman, 30 the lily, 31 the sun, 32 the moon, 33 the key, that's the cover, I like that one a lot. 34, the fish, 35, the anchor, 36, the cross. I did good. <laughs> I figured them all out. So that's the, I think that's one of the main important things about the Lennerman is being able to recognize it right away because it's just one of those things. You see the cross in the, the cross gives you an image, you know, a meaning. There's a word association with, with each, with each one. So like, I even have a charm, the writer, and right away I know it means news, you know, information. Um, it could also mean movement or moving. And so there you go. They're very handy in the readings, and I hope you like them. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.